family welcome or welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be doing a small advice video about my first semester of college so if you want to watch this video please keep watching so to start off i decided to do the advice video rather than the experience video because my first year of college is not over and my first semester of college wasn't that interesting and so i want to save that video to the end of the year when i leave for my summer break but I'm going to give you guys a little bit of college advice for your first semester and it's some things that I picked up on while I was here. So the first thing is that you don't need as much stuff as you think you do. I packed a whole lot of stuff and I'm, I want to blame it on like the list that you can look up online of the stuff you're going to need, but you don't need that much stuff. And I would go home for the weekend and I would have to take a suitcase because I did not have any clothes at home because I decided to bring them all here. Worst mistake of my life. The second thing I would say is to use Rate My Professor when you're signing up for classes because a lot of the professors, it's wishy-washy. You need to do your research because some of these professors do not care whether you pass or fail their class because either way they are going to get paid. And some of these professors actually care and want to make an impact on your future so you need to use I would recommend using that website because people go on there and they give honest reviews about the class and that professor the next thing that I would say and it's a big thing is to do your laundry during the day when you have a break in between classes if your break is big enough because everybody tries to wait until the weekend to do their laundry and it's packed because everybody tries to wait whereas if you do it during the day there might be a couple other people in there, but everybody else is off at class or they're not doing their laundry because they're going to wait till the weekend. So I would say do it when you have time during the week because a lot of people won't be there. Next thing I would say is to use GroupMe. I use GroupMe in a lot of my classes and it's a way for us to be in a group chat but not have to like share our numbers with everybody. And once the class is over, you can leave the GroupMe. And so we would use it to ask each other questions about homework or anything that we learned in class. If somebody missed a class, they could get a picture of the notes. The thing I would say is to meet with your professors and advisors. And I know that sounds scary. And in the beginning, I was scared because last semester, um, I met with my bio professor and I was so scared. I didn't want to go. Like I just kept putting it off and I should have went earlier, but I did go. And so don't be scared, especially if you have a good professor because they're gonna be there for you and they have their office hours on their syllabus. So it's easy for you to make time to go or make an appointment with them and they can work around your schedule. And also meet with your advisors because they are the ones that's gonna be there for you throughout your whole, your whole term being here. Basically, they advise you on your classes, on getting involved in campus and all different other kinds of stuff so if you have a question or a concern you can most definitely go to them about that I recommend going to the free things on campus and when I say free I mean free everything that they do on campus you somehow are paying for it it's in those hidden fees that they charge with tuition and so um go I've gotten a lot of free stuff from going to these events. I've gotten free clothes, free hats, free food. I mean, who don't love free food? Just go and enjoy yourself. The thing I would say is get ready to be overwhelmed because this is a new thing in your life and there's a lot of adjusting you're going to have to do and mom and dad aren't going to be right there by your side to help you through it. And so you're going to have to make phone calls and there's going to be times when you just want to cry and if you want to cry you just gonna have to cry because it's college and there are good things in college and there's things that's gonna suck and so be ready to be overwhelmed college is not just what you see on tv oh party 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 no it's it's the real deal this is what determines your future the next thing i would say is to keep your circle small it's okay to know people but i think you should keep your the people that you really, really mess with, the people that you talk to every day or see every day, keep that circle small because you really don't know everybody down here. And I just don't like 
sharing my business or messing with everybody on campus because you never know and std rates are really really high and people lie all the time so you just gotta keep your circle small and protect yourself the last thing i want to say and most of you probably already know but peer pressure is real it is so real and it gets worse when you get in college because you're on your own your mom and dad aren't here to watch over your shoulder make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and so there's going to be times where you're going to feel peer pressure and you got to learn how to work through those times and express yourself to whoever is peer pressuring you if you don't feel comfortable in that situation you just got to learn how to deal with it if you can't go to a close friend if it's that bad then call your parents they're a call away and um make sure you stay on track and focus on what you came to school to do that's gonna be the end of this video i hope you guys like this video if you did give it a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye yeah.